try math to solve an equation algebraically and graphically. I'm going to start graphically because then that will help me know where I'm headed with the algebraic solution. The equation is 1 plus the square root of 7 minus x equals x. I'm going to go to my y equals. I'm going to clear anything I have in y1 or y2. And then in y1, I'm going to place the left-hand side of the given equation. So 1 plus the square root 7 minus x. And then I'm going to use my arrow and make sure I end the radical at x. Then go down to y2 and enter the right-hand side of the equation, which is x. So again, I'm trying to solve a single equation, but I'm breaking it into its two sides and turning each of those into separate equations that I'm graphing to see where they intersect. I'm going to check my window, and I'm going to change my window to be the standard window, which is negative 10 to 10, x min to x max, and the same thing for y min to y max. Then I'm going to press graph. And that's going to show me a really good picture of the situation. I have a solution here, and I can see by the graphs that there are no more solutions. The radical part of the graph is going to continue up. The linear part here is going to continue, and they're only going to intersect in this one place. So let's see what that one place is. Second calc number 5, and then I'm going to hit Enter three times. And that's going to give me an intersection of 3, 3. So I'm going to draw that over here in my window, because then that's going to be the graphical solution. And then I'm going to see how that informs my algebraic solution. So here we go here with the radical part. And then the linear part goes right through there, and the ordered pair solution or intersection I should say is 3 comma 3 meaning that the solution to the equation is x equals 3. I want the x coordinate. So let's see how to work with this graphically. What I'm doing is I'm solving 1 plus the square root of 7 minus x equals x. And what I need to do to solve this is I need to make sure that I isolate the radical part of the equation. I'm going to do that by subtracting 1 from both sides, and that gives me x minus 1. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides. That's going to remove the square root. So I get 7 minus x equals. Now remember that when I square x minus 1, I'm going to need to FOIL. So I'm going to end up with a trinomial result. x times x is x squared. x times negative 1. negative 1 times x. negative 1 times negative 1. So I end up with 7 minus x equals x squared minus 2x plus 1. Looks like I may have a quadratic equation going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 7 and the negative x and move them over to the right-hand side. So I'm going to get x squared minus 2x plus x plus 1 minus 7. So I added x to both sides, subtracted 7 from both sides. That leaves me with x squared minus x minus 6, and this equals 0. So there are a variety of ways I can solve this. I can use the quadratic formula. I can graph. I can um, try to factor. But I'm going to use the graphing method here. And on the y1 part, it's x squared minus x minus 6. And then the y2 part is 0. Once again, I'm going to leave the standard window, press graph, see what I get. I should get a nice parabola. I want to find each of these intersections. Second calc number 5. And this is going to give me the left-hand intersection. That's going to be x equals negative 2 is my first solution. Then I'm going to go second calc number 5. 
I'm going to need to move my cursor closer to the other intersection and then hit enter three times. And that should give me a value of x equals three. So let's indicate here uh, that we solve this using a graphical process. So I have two solutions here. This one only gave me one. So let's see what happens algebraically when I check. If I check x equals negative 2, what I'm going to do is put negative 2 into the left side and then see if I get negative 2 on the right. So I would say 1 plus the square root of 7 minus negative 2. And that equals 1 plus square root of 9, 1 plus 3, and that equals 4. And x is negative 2. Those are not equal. So negative 2 is not a solution. It's called an extraneous solution. Let's double check x equals 3. If I plug in 3 to the left-hand side, I get 1 plus the square root of 7 minus 3, which equals 1 plus the square root of 4, which equals 1 plus 2, or 3. And my x here is 3, so that one checks. So the only solution to this equation is x equals 3.